Hey y'all, so I am back here with another video. So this video today is gonna be things I wish I knew before turning 20 years old. Oh my gosh. Before actually being in my 20s, I'm 23 right now. Um, if y'all don't know, my name is Antoria Conde. Welcome to my channel. I do um, weight loss videos, like just life hack videos and everything. So we gonna get into this video. I actually don't have nothing written down and usually y'all, I write everything in my notepad. But I'm like, you know what? I just gonna I'm I'ma stop being fake and I'm just be more authentic because I feel like I wasn't being as authentic as like I was presenting myself. So I'ma just tell y'all what I wish I would have knew before I turned uh 23 years old. All right, number one, don't do none of them scams. I promise y'all, if y'all are my age, right? Or if y'all are like about to be 20, if y'all like 17, 18, 19, this is what I wish I would have told myself, you know, y'all age right now. What I would have told myself was to not do nothing illegal. Because when I tell y'all, I'm not sitting in debt, debt, but I'm not in the greatest position. But if I would have never did that type of stuff when I was, I think I did it when I was in when I was 19 because beforehand I wasn't really messing with it because I seen it mess other people up. But I'm like, okay, maybe this is a different thing. And mind y'all, two banks have closed for me. And when I tell y'all, when y'all are in the check system, you can't get out of it. Do not do it. Don't let nobody ruin your bank account. I promise you, that is the most crucial thing. Like if I could rewind time, I would have never messed up my banks. I messed up two banks. And thankfully, I still able to have a bank today, but just messing up those two banks have really set me back to where it was like, okay, like I can't open up like a new checking account somewhere else. Like for, for instance, Chase won't allow me to open up a new bank account because I'm in the check system and it takes you seven years, guys. It takes you seven years to get out of the check system. So I won't be out of the check system until I'm probably like 30 something, but I'm not going to be in the check system for too long because I am working on my um, working on paying that money back and everything. But don't let none of these scammer dudes like any of these dudes sweet talk you because that I'm not going to lie. That's what happened to me. I let somebody sweet talk me into, you know, putting a little fraudulent check into my account. And y'all, it was not it was not worth it at all. Like, that's one thing I really wish, you know, being this age now, I really wish I would would have been like, no. Mm -mm, no regrets and thankfully i'm still young i'm 23 years old right now by the time i am 30 years old like i should be set like i'm making sure i'm making sure my life is set on track right now sorry y'all my like my screen there we go but i'm making sure my life is like literally stacked right now like when you're 17 18 19 please 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 do not do that all right number two do not waste your 20s do not before you turn 20 do not waste your good teenage years on a dude like or on impressing dudes or like trying to be the latest person i'm gonna leave that for actually i'm gonna leave that for number three because that's a really good tip but number two do not mess with none of these dudes if i could tell myself what if i knew what i knew right now about men i would have not dealt with a lot of stuff y'all like when I tell y'all, I'm being so transparent with y'all. Like, I've been sexually assaulted, like, and not just once, but twice. Because of the fact I put myself in certain situations where it was like, okay, you know, I want to be out here. I want to be popping it. I want to be doing this. I want to be in the limelight. <laughs> y'all, trying to be popular, trying to be out there got me in that situation. And when I tell y'all, when that, when that first happened to me when I was 17, that's how I lost my virginity. And I promise y'all, it was just like, and mind you, beforehand, I was a sweet girl. I was this and that. But after that situation happened, I just tormented dudes. Like, I just was just like, okay, yeah, I don't care. No, you're going to hurt. You're going to hurt. You're going to hurt. And then God really had to really just pull me back and to make me realize, you know what? That's not what life about life is about, Tori. Like, life is not about hurting people. Like, you know, hurt people hurt people. And if I could go back and like, you know, do some things over, I definitely would. But I don't regret like anything that I went through, but I regret on how like I went about things. Like if I was never really worried about men, it's like men can be the destroyer of your life for real, for real. Like I want to meet my kingdom come. I want to meet my person that I'm supposed to be with and everything. But I'm really realizing now, like, 
yo the dudes really messed me up like you know what i'm not gonna say they messed me up because you see me right now i look good i look fine don't do that but i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sit up here in front like it didn't take me a step back dealing with certain people and now that i'm seeing like you know now that i'm older and i'm seeing okay like you know life ain't all about just like being around men literally trying to get validation from a man y'all y'all have to really realize you have to get validation from yourself these men do not care about y'all like and i don't want to say it until like be like in a rude way or nothing but i'm just really giving y'all the real these men don't really care if oh yeah if oh yeah she's hurting she's this she's that they don't care all of, all they care about is getting their rocks off and i'm just being honest like do not do not worry about a man do not make your whole life surrounded by a man because if you do that you're gonna when i tell y'all i was just 17 like I, it feels like just last last week i was 17 i'm 23 years old right now life is going to keep going and if you're worried about a man two five six years two years turns into five years five years turns into seven years you're going to be looking like yo what the heck you're going to sit back you're going to be 30 and you're just going to be like yo i really spent my whole 20s the best years of my life worried about a man really think about that you're spending the best years of your life worrying about a man honestly 17 to 8 19 is one of the best years of your life that's where you're growing that's where everything but being in the position right that i am in right now what i wish i would have told myself before i turned 20 don't rush to grow up like don't rush to be in a relationship don't rush to be married there's no rush you guys do not need to rush to, oh, I want to be here. I want to be there because you'll be in a situation that you, you, you're you going to have trauma from. And when I tell y'all I have trauma from, you know, stuff that I went through, thank God that I got through it and that he healed me from a lot of stuff that I was going through. Like I have, I have trauma that I'm dealing with right now, but it's not trauma to where those situations, like, you know, those two situations um, have happened. It's not, it's not that trauma that's like god shut the door on that he literally shut the door like when i like i don't know what it is but when i was praying he literally shut the door and was like that's over that 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 part of your life is done done you don't have to worry about it no more and now that i'm seeing it i'm like okay i don't have to worry about it at all so i really wish like i really want y'all to really like really don't worry about dudes like if i could tell myself if I could tell myself that again, I would. I would. Don't make the mistake I made when I was 19. Don't do it. All right, so we're going to go into number three. Don't waste your money on, like, trying to keep up with the latest trends, keep up with the Joneses. I'm telling y'all, don't do it. I did it, bro. I did it. I did it. When it, when it was unemployment time, I ain't going to say too much, but it was just like, I just wasted, I just wasted money. I was just spending like I had it. I spent it like I was this, I was that. Like, I'm not going to, like, I have money right now, but I had way more money back then. But it was just like, I was just acting like I was rich. <laughs> and just spending money, this here, this there, this there. Like, no, don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Like, I got so much designer. I got so much this and that. But for what? Who am I trying to impress? Like, you really have to really think about it. Like, when I was in high school and stuff, like, growing up, we didn't have the latest, you know, Jordans, the latest fashion, all that stuff. So, I really had to, when I got older, I had to just get it for myself. And I felt like that stuff defined me. But now that I'm realizing, it don't define me at all. And I'm seeing, like, these people don't care about you. What they going to, like, you really going to sit up here and make your whole life about putting on designer putting on like like caring about what people think about you if your hair lay oh, nah, i'm not gonna lie i love when my hair is laid but just like designer and stuff because for one don't go broke on designer trying to impress people because those would be the same people that snake you i promise you and that's gonna lead me to my tip number four about friends and stuff but number three don't waste your money save your money when you are 17 about to be 20 save your money you could even do when you're 18 19 like and i'm 23 right now but i save my money for real for real i'm 23 i'm in a position in my right now like i got a car i paid my car full in cash nice little 2016 honda elantra 
it's a nice car it rides good it looks cute like i saved my money because i want nice things so when i saved it i bought the car you know and i did what i had to do even though i'm still living in my mom's house i'm still saving because i want a house i want something bigger than just an apartment save for a house when you save for a house you'll have equity equity <laughs> turns into net worth when if you want to sell your house and stuff so that's a little tip y'all like when you're younger when we're young right now don't try to be in the limelight and stuff like don't try to do it because at the end of the day it's not worth it like that's gonna lead me into tip number four like don't like be smart when you're going out and partying that's really one thing i really would have wish i would have told myself back then like when i tell y'all i would be consistently drinking like don't drink because like when you drink so much and mind you i started drinking when i was 17. when you drink so much and you're just trying to fill that void in your heart because of the fact it's like you want something and <laughs> drinking is not gonna is not gonna fill it and i've been in that position before where it's like i was drinking to ease the pain with so much stuff and it did not work. It put me into a bad mental state. And I think that's why like, I resulted in having cancer because God wanted to slow me down. Because when I tell y'all, I just didn't really care if I lived or died. That's how I was feeling because I went through so much. I've been sexually assaulted twice. I seen, you know, there was a situation where it was a party, somebody got killed and I seen it. I was seeing the dead bodies and stuff and I was just having flashbacks. And it was just, it was just a lot on my mentals, a lot on the trauma. And then I, I knew the person, I went to school with them, was cool with them and stuff. And it's just like, that stuff literally was like traumatizing to me. And I let drinking be my coping mechanism. And I realized that was the worst decision I ever made when I was 17, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20. Worst decision was to be drinking. Because I was trying to fill a void that was not going to be filled with liquor. So I'm going to move on to the fourth tip for y'all. And that what that is friends. Friends. <laughs> don't trust people. I promise you. I promise you. Don't trust these girls that, oh, yeah, we going to be friends for life. We going to be friends, this and that. Some of my oldest friends snake me. Like, I'm so serious. Don't do it. And some of, like, my friends, like, you know, in college, I'm not friends with none of them no more. Half of them people I'm not even friends with. Like, you would think, like, okay, these are going to be my girls for life, this and that. Be careful who you surround yourself with because I promise y'all, like, what, two years ago or a year and a half ago, I was dealing with some friends. And I thought, oh, yeah, we're going to be best friends for life. We're going to be doing this, that, you know, end up snaking me. And then my even my best friend, she ended up snaking me. Like, she didn't snake me, but it was just the simple fact. Like, I got a new best friend now, but this is my old best friend. But she just was to call it. Like, she said something that she didn't think I heard her say it. And she said, like, you know, I don't even really mess with that girl like that. And that's what really was like, dang. I thought, like, you know, we had a little falling out. But at the same time, it was just like a... Like, you my sister. So, if I fight with you, I'm like, okay, this is my sister. We're going to get real, right back. I didn't think she thought of it as me being funny towards her. I just thought it's like, me, my, like, this is my sister. Like, my sister, sister. Like, I love her to death type sister. Like, you know, I still love her and all. But it's like, you got to love somebody from a distance. Because the fact is just like, you know, if you don't really want to mess with me, I'm just going to exit myself out of your life type. That's how I felt. But, you know friends is you got to be careful just be careful who you surround yourself with especially with friends because these people don't have your best interests and these are some of the things that i really wish i would have told myself back when i was 17 and now that i'm 23 years old i still got time and i'm still living i'm this is a critical i just turned 23 this is a critical point in my life where it's like okay what do you want to do with your life i know i want to be a content creator i know i want to do this i know i want to do that i want to have brand deals i want to you know you know be you know an influencer and everything so you have to do what you have to do but i hope you guys like this video this is real authenticated this is me i'm not i i told myself now i'm not doing no thumbnails on nothing like i'm just be authentic with y'all and i really hope y'all just tune in and just subscribe to me and just you know really just be here with me so if y'all like this video like subscribe comment down below i love y'all y'all my girls bye